I recognize it's a tough decision for folks and the political backdrop's not lost on me, but I think this is the right thing to do. Time for Edmontonians to dust off their masks, if they hadn't already. City Council voting to reintroduce mandatory face coverings for all indoor public spaces as of Friday. That includes city facilities and private businesses like grocery stores and restaurants. We were compared to Florida a while back. And well, if you go look at Florida now, they have, have no tools in place and they are at the highest point they've ever been. Councillor Andrew Knack proposed the indoor masking amendment. It came as council debated extending masking on just transit and rideshare. Councillors say they didn't want to bring it back. They just felt they had no choice. Information I got over the weekend was from a doctor who uh, is describing what he's encountering in the, in the care of his patients now. He's describing a, a situation in uh, health facilities that is much more dire than it was the first couple of times around. That the number of emails I've had over the last few months, people really afraid. It's it's the least you can do to 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 help end this this bloody pandemic. Some on council expressed hope the province would lead the battle against the fourth wave of the COVID pandemic. But the ongoing silence from the legislature, they claim, tipped their hand. As the situation has gotten away from us and that some action, some leadership is required. And in the absence of that uh, coming strongly from the legislature, people are once again calling on their local government uh, to at least send a signal that we take this seriously. It's ironic to tell certain members of the conservative uh, cabal that in fact this will help business. One major difference with the updated bylaw is that it is tied to case counts. Currently, Edmonton has a per capita rate of 238 cases per 100,000 people. For the bylaw to be repealed, that must dip below 100 for 10 straight days. The hope is it'll happen sooner rather than later. Sadly, I don't think we'll be back under 100 um, by the time the next council meets. I'd love to be wrong about that, though. Scott Frolic, City News, Edmonton.